Hi, I'm Susan, and I've been making books with children for about 20 years. I started doing it with my own kids at home, and then I've been doing it in schools for a long time. Uh, and I want to make a book with you today, and the one that we're going to make is what I call the hot dog booklet. It's a very simple little book, and we're going to make this out of just one piece of paper, and the only thing we need is a pair of scissors. And if you don't have a pair of scissors, you could actually just tear the paper um, and make it even easier. So we're going to start with one piece of paper, and you'll notice this has writing on one side. I like to use paper, reuse paper whenever I can. Um, so we're going to use this piece of paper, and we're going to start by folding it in half so that it's long and skinny like a hot dog. And the reason, that's the reason I call this the hot dog booklet. I'm going to fold it in half, and you'll notice that the writing is going to be on the inside when I make that fold. I'm going to try to be, be nice, be careful if I can, and I'm going to line up the corners and then I'm going to fold it in half. Now I'm showing you how to do this the way I teach a workshop when I go into a school, how I work with kids or something in a library. When you do it, you're going to actually do it on a table surface. So if I'm, I'm folding up here, but you're going to want to do your folding on a table. I've got my hot dog fold here. Now I'm going to open it up and I'm going to fold it the other way. I like to call it a hamburger. And we're going to line up the corners again and make a crease. When I'm making a book, I like to, the way I look at it is it's nice to try to be as careful as you can, to try to really get the corners lined up, make it as perfect as you can. But if it doesn't turn out exactly that way, that's okay. It's no big deal. Now, I've got it creased here. I'm going to take just one layer and I'm going to fold, flip it back. So this edge is going to get flipped back. I'm going to line it up with the fold and then I'm going to crease it. And then I'm going to turn it over. So now the big side is on the top. Take the edge, flip it back to meet the fold, make sure it's lined up, and then crease it. Now this is all the folding. We've got all our folding done, and we're going to get ready to make a cut. I'm going to open it up, and if you look at the edge, you'll see that it looks like the letter W. I'm going to grab the middle of the W, and there's a fold right here. Fold along here. I've got two layers of paper, and there's a fold going right here. I'm going to take the scissors, I'm going to cut right along that fold in the center till I get to the next fold here. Now you want to, you want to stop, make sure you stop at the fold and not go past it, but you have to make sure you get as up to the fold. If you cut it too short, the next step isn't going to work. Now I'm going to take the, turn it and I'll, I'll hold it on either side of where I cut it, bend my wrists to stand it up. Now if you look at it, you've got four sections of pages. I'm just going to take them, flatten them out, and now I have my little book. Now what I really like about bookmaking is that you can vary it. You can make one, but you can make some changes. So say you want to make a longer book. This is, you have more to say than just, this is going to give you a cover, six pages in the middle, and a back cover. So you want it to be longer. You can put several layers together, several little books together, which is here I did three. If you, to do that, it's very simple. You'll just take glue, put glue on here, take the next book and put it on top. If you want to add more glue and put the next one on top. Um, as I said, I like to use, reuse paper whenever I can. So one of the things, if you've got kids in school, a lot of times you'll find they bring home flyers from school that have writing just on one side. That's what I use for this. I saved, uh, I had some different colors and I use this. And then because I like to reuse and save things, the decoration here on the cover, this comes from a, um, a little page of stamps that I bought at the post office. Sometimes the self-adhesive ones have a little section that's also self-adhesive that's just um, that's not a stamp, and that's what I use for this. The other thing that you can do is, um, in addition to using paper that's got writing on one side, another thing I like to use a lot are brown grocery bags. And for that, I cut out either the front or back panel for this, and that's what I use for the book. This is one I did that's a biography of Margaret Knight. And what I like about this is Margaret Knight is the person who invented the flat bottom grocery bag. So here we are making a book with a grocery bag about the person who invented them. And then you can also make changes with the book, add things to them, play around. So this is one that I did where I took a grocery bag and made one book. So I have my bigger book. And then I'm going to open it up. And in each of the pages inside, I made a smaller book that I put in it. So I hope you enjoy making your own hot dog booklet, and see you next time.